Hi, beautiful. Relaxers can be dangerous if they're not done correctly. That is one thing I know for sure. However, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know a ton about relaxers. The last time I did a relaxer was in hair school. So I spent several hours today researching how relaxers are properly done, some do's and don'ts, why relaxers can be so dangerous, and the differences between different kinds of relaxers. I have definitely accumulated some knowledge over the past few hours and have been doing extensive research about the topic to make sure I only bring you guys factual information. Also, I want to tell you if you are interested in getting relaxers, if you're looking to do more investigation about how they work, or just want to know more about relaxers in general, please go watch a couple of videos I watched. One is by Green Beauty and it's what are relaxers really doing to your hair? It's linked below. And the other one is relaxer application do's and don'ts. A girl named Suin or Soon, uh, it'll be linked below also. So those are some great informational videos, but I will give you my opinions on the situations that we have going on here today. And just remember, I'm not an expert on this exact topic. Take everything I say with a grain of salt and please do your own research because I don't perform relaxers. But these are definitely some very satisfying relaxer videos and that is what I love so much. So hopefully today we can both learn a thing or two about how relaxers are done and just have some fun and relax relaxation as we watch the hair go from curly to pin straight right before our eyes. Let's get it started. All right, our first video, we're starting off with a very, very satisfying video. I needed to share this with you. I've skimmed through it. I wanna see what actually goes on here because it is magical. And this video is by The Master Stylist. She is definitely a master stylist. This video is called Virgin Relaxer on Long Hair. Ooh, look at those curls. Here is 100% natural. Wow. Uh, she hasn't had a relaxer in about um, four or five years, but the natural hair was too much work for her to keep up with. This is a big deal. Cause once you relax, you can't go back. You have to grow that out. It's not just gonna wear off. A relaxer is permanent. This isn't a keratin treatment. This isn't a Brazilian blowout. This is restructuring the inside of your hair permanently. And this girl has some thick hair. And I bet it's gonna be so luscious when she's done. I am going to put the hair um, about a fourth inch away from the scalp and I am massaging the hair in. Because she is getting a virgin relaxer or any relaxer, you don't want to go right in putting a relaxer to the scalp. No. By the time you are done or even get halfway through the head, that client is going to be saying that they are burning. Listen, I definitely know a few things from hair school about relaxer. One of the things is you don't put it on on the scalp. This is not a chemical that should really even be on your hair, never mind your scalp. I understand why people do it because I know that extremely curly hair can be just a lot of work. It's a lot of maintenance. Curly hair is dry. And so doing these treatments is one of the only options to permanently make it straight. It's a serious thing you're doing to your hair. Oftentimes it's not done right, which can cause a lot of damage to your skin. It's scary to me. Me on the other hand, I do have sensitive scalp so the minute relaxer touches me it only can stay touching my scalp thank god she's using gloves everything is going good she's sectioning nicely we love this obviously this girl knows what she's doing okay she's a hairstylist she's done this a lot so as you can see i'm also massaging the hair in as i'm putting it on sort of like applying color by me smoothing it in it's allowing the hair to penetrate more into the hair shaft. When doing any kind of hair straightening treatment that's permanent or semi-permanent, the way you apply it is just so vital to the outcome of what you're doing. If you section out the haircut properly, it'll come out better. If you section out, you know, your highlights properly, it'll come out better. Relaxer, you need to do your sections. You need to be thorough. That's a big thing. And she is doing just that, so we're good. I actually found that doing the hair in fours and then going back in doing diagonal parting much, much faster than doing the way that you're taught in school. She's taking small sections, going around, applying enough to go around. She's actually going in the opposite direction as she just went with her sections in order to make sure every single strand is fully covered. What I've learned is that combing is not necessary. At least that's what I learned today from a bunch of people who uh, seemingly know a lot about relaxers. I know that, you know, you want it laid flat. Knowing now what a relaxer is actually doing 
getting to the inside of the hair. You know, it's really breaking down those bonds and fully reshaping the hair. Just doesn't sound like a good idea to comb it when it's in such a fragile state with so many harsh chemicals on it. But you know, this works for her. So as you can see, I think she's now hitting the scalp after she's already done the entire head. That way, this relaxer does not sit on the scalp for very long. When a person's hair is extremely curly, you have to go onto the scalp or else you're never gonna get all of that curl out. I get it, but oof, it makes me nervous to put that chemical on that scalp like that. It's like, I'm scared. So she has been shampooed, conditioned. Holy um, shit. Her ends are really bad. I can tell she's probably been wearing the puff a lot or wearing it like in the head. Sorry. So when those ends are exposed, the sun is just frying the ends of the hair. But um, she did wow. keep her length. So we are doing just a trim. Again, we have to mention the damage that goes on when you do something like this, but the outcome is quite mind-blowing. The fact that you can take hair that is just so, so curly and make it so, so straight is a wild thing. Now, of course, I think she's blow-dried this and possibly straightened it, so I don't think it just popped out of that cream, but I'm sure it helped a lot, and I don't know if her hair would have been this straight without a relaxer, so it's really cool just seeing that chemical reaction go on. Anything transformative, I love, which is why I love the hair industry. <laughs> it's so satisfying seeing her cut off these ends too. Yes, give it the cut. Oh, there's just nothing better than like cutting those little fragile ends off that don't need to be there at all and just ending with healthy, beautiful, glowing hair. Give it to me. All I'm doing is just massaging it in the hair, not applying a lot of it, uh, but you just want to make sure you get in the hair really, really well before you start applying heat. GHD flat iron. Oh my God, it's like the bomb. I just got it the other day. Okay, so now she's going in with the flat iron to finish it all off. This relaxer looks stunning, I have to admit. And she is going in and giving her these beautiful curls with these beautiful sections. It's everything that I wanna see today. I needed something to relax me today and we're getting it. Who needs alcohol? Who needs clubs? Who needs to go out? Who needs friends when they have relaxer videos? Okay, so now we are wrapping it to set it in place. Probably gonna put her under a dryer or something, a little shine spray maybe, and then we'll We'll see the finished result. Obviously her hair was starting in a good place, but we're combing it out and oh my God. How is that even the same head of hair she started with? What? Dude, that takes talent and time and a lot of effort. Oh my God. God, I wanna get my hands in there. Imagine though, like how crazy that is for this girl, the client, like you've went, you know, three to five years with super curly hair to the point where you probably can't like get your hands, go like this and have fluffy hair. You can wear it in pretty curly styles, but you can't run your hands through it. And then she goes home and all of a sudden she has this like silk hair. That's probably so trippy. Wow, that was a beautiful result. That was a transformation. I have to say the relaxer kind of slayed her hair. Still doesn't make up for the fact that it's very dangerous and not good for you or your hair, but it was a really great outcome. The master stylist, you kind of killed it. And by kind of, I mean like completely slayed my life. All right, let's move on to the next video. It is by Tierra J and it is called OMG. I relaxed my natural hair for B curly to wavy full tutorial. And this one is an at home one. So we'll see if she sticks to uh, the rules and follows the directions on how a relaxer is supposed to be properly done after learning about it today. We shall see what goes on here. I'm headed over, honey, to texturize, text slacks. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do a texturizer or text slacks or really it's just a relaxer girl with some fancy tees in it. It's just a relaxer. That's I was gonna say, what's the difference? I think as a relaxer, but um, I'm just doing it not to achieve straight hair, but to achieve a looser curl. And I'm gonna get into all the education, all the fun stuff throughout the video while I'm doing my texturizer. These different kinds of relaxers that aren't as harmful or whatever, it's really just the same chemical just left on the hair for a lesser amount of time. So really it's all the same thing. I'm interested to see what her hair is gonna look like after. Is it gonna be long? Is it gonna be like shoulder length? Is it gonna be like chin length? I feel like it's gonna be pretty long. Her hair is very curly, so 
we shall see one before all these comments come through oh my god why is she doing this she must hate herself and da 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 girl it's just hair it's my hair that's right and second of all i love my natural curls i really do she's um, bored of it she wants a change I okay i get it my hair nothing like that i just would like a change and i have that right because it's my hair everybody has that right to do whatever they want to do to their hair you know having your natural hair is like a cult if you decide you want to relax your hair people are pissed and i get it because they're just like really care for your hair and they want the best for your hair but sometimes man you just gotta listen to what your heart wants and maybe at that moment, you just want a different hair texture. I know I sometimes want curly hair. Maybe I'll get a perm. I don't know. Let her live, okay? And the reason I want to text lax my hair is to manage it better because at this point in my life, I'm just tired. It takes me like a good hour to detangle my hair. Oh. It is longer than that. That's really tough. But this middle section is really my main like running in with just it not being as manageable as I want it to be. The perimeter of my hair is like a much looser texture and in this middle, it's just like shoo, shoo. So basically you wanna to touch all of your hair, no product, freshly washed and conditioned. Right. No product on your hair and you wanna see where the coarsest part of your hair is. You wanna know that because that's where you always wanna start. Usually right here, right? Or even your relaxer. You always wanna start on the coarsest part of the hair because when that chemical starts to work in, you want it to work there first. Relaxers are very time sensitive. You don't wanna let it sit on one spot for an hour, the other spot 10 minutes, or else you're gonna get all different kinds of patterns within your one head of hair. You gotta be fast, you gotta be thorough. Get it on there, get it on there good, and don't let it sit for too long or else your hair will break off. It'll eat your hair alive, seriously. So after you're done with your whole curl analysis, what you wanna do is get your hair to a state of being like stretched out and basically easy to comb. Oh, I didn't know that. Easy to put that um, chemical through. You want it as easy as possible. So I do recommend blowing your hair out with a blow dryer. Oh my God, her hair is so long. Being like flat iron, you don't wanna do all of that. But basically, you know, having it as straight as possible. Looks so bouncy. Oh my God. So no going back after this. Well, in a few years you can, but. I've been here like literally just like this for about three, I think it's been like four days now. So I'm going to use everything that came in the box. Good idea. <laughs> I approve of that. It's pink on us. Smooth as little. Look at that. Oh, that pink oil. What's up? What's this for? Oh, good. So this is gonna act as a protective barrier. We love protection. Always use protection. I got my first relaxer when I was six. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back. Like, I just, I can't believe it. <sighs> Our little six-year-old hair getting relaxed. I can't help but feel bad for it. <laughs> Texturizer is not, you know, just the conditioning treatment. You <laughs> no. say conditioning cream, girl. This is a whole relaxer. So if you do want to step into like texturizing your hair, just know that it's it's no coming back. Okay? None. Get your natural curls back. You just gonna have to have it grow out your scalp and you know start all the way over. You have to grow out your scalp. <laughs> girl, you can't grow your scalp. You gotta grow the damn hair out. That's what you gotta do. Ah! Learning about this, I definitely know she shouldn't be going this close to her scalp. Or she's literally painting on her scalp with this relaxer, which makes me a little nervous. I feel like you should not start on your roots. Not 100% on that. Oh, wow. I have a feeling that you shouldn't wrap your hair in a bun after you put relaxer on it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to let it lay down straight in the position you're gonna wear it, just because however the way you relax it is how it's gonna stay. Putting in a bun is quite scary to me and it is fully on her scalp i just cannot believe i actually really did this as i was washing my hair i could just run <sighs> my hands <sighs> my first look at my tech slacks hair <gasps> y'all ready nope i'm not ready i'm not ready Like straight. I am happy. I'm happy. Oh, we're happy. <laughs> exactly 
what I wanted. And it's my curls ain't popping yet, but I still got some texture up in there. Wow, that <laughs> really relaxed her hair. I was expecting it to be, you know, not this straight. Whoa! And it also looked like her hair was falling off for a second, so I was like kind of really concerned. I, I was waiting for what she was gonna say. She likes it, so apparently I like it too. I am so happy. This is exactly- She looks so cute. Exactly, 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 exactly how I wanted my hair. What? I can just rub my hand through it. So the pink conditioner, I'm pretty sure is like a neutralizer. A lot of the stuff after you do is to bring your pH level of your hair back down to the proper, you know, green safe area to make it so your hair doesn't fall off completely. The pH level is too high, your hair is not gonna be good. Low key, when I was washing my hair, I started panicking because I'm like, this is straight. Like, I did not want my hair bone, bone, bone straight. And everything just felt super, super, super straight. And I was like freaking out for a little minute. So like, I really got a lot of texture in the back. Yeah, the back looks much more textured than the front. A lot of that texture in the back. You know, you can always do your hair in force quadrants and start with the back do apply that start your timer do this side start your timer do the front side start a timer do this side start a timer and then once each timer goes off you can rinse that section separately so you can have everything process the same exact amount of time and you'll get the same exact outcome in all the areas of your head i'm gonna go ahead and sit under my dryer and everything and just get you know get real conditioned get my ph back restore and I'll show y'all my hair once I come back and everything is rinsed out and I'm you know style it a little bit try to get my curls popping try to get my new get those curls, curls popping okay, girl wow I mean wow that's a difference I like it <laughs> but I also loved our curly hair maybe a little bit more than this I don't know that's just me who cares I mean if she feels good then that's awesome I can't believe it did that much to her hair in that little time I mean it's kind of cool that you can just apply that chemical and it's just like boop your hair is straight you're welcome with a lot of damage but you're welcome anyways. <laughs> and you're like, okay, thanks. That was beautiful. Thank you for that, Miss Tierra. And our last and final video is by Sierra Danielle, and she titled it Relaxing, Tex Laxing My Natural Hair After Three Years. Oh my God. Her hair is so long. This is going to be like down to here. This is three years worth of hair. Yo, her hair is beautiful. This girl has got some locks and they are long locks and she is about to relax them for the first time in three years Ooh, scary it's just too much like i can't i, I just i can't right now like my entire like, life story i can't spend two days on my hair no I'm neglecting my hair i'm not washing my hair but every three four months honestly that's like <laughs> twice a year almost when it's like this it almost tricks me i'm like oh, okay you know i can manage this i can manage this wait a second her hair is so pretty like that. With that makeup, oh my God, slay my life, honey. The main thing that I asked myself was, are you natural because you love it? Or are you natural because it's trendy? I think that is a great thing to ask yourself when you're about to do this. Is this for me or is this for the world? If it's for you, yeah, do it, man. But don't do it because society tells you you need straight hair. Oh. Where are your sections? I'm not looking. <laughs> oh, I wish she was taking proper sections because what's gonna happen here is hair strands are not gonna get touched because when you're bunching the hair up and you're applying the relaxer to all that hair, the stuff inside that doesn't get touched by the relaxer is gonna still be curly, obviously. And then you're gonna have straight hair around it. So you're gonna have curly and straight all in the same head and it's gonna look kind of random and weird. Just take the time to section out properly. So she is going in there and it looks like she's taking better sections now. So I am satisfied. And she's working through that beautiful hair of hers that is about to be hopefully well straightened. She is probably like one of the best candidates for something like this. Her hair is so thick. You can tell she has healthy hair. It's not colored. There's nothing going on. I mean, she has beautiful edges and her hair can probably withstand all that's about to happen to it. Otherwise, somebody with fragile looking hair, somebody with color. I mean, I definitely wouldn't do it with color. They're not gonna be as good of a candidate it as this girl because relaxer needs to work on healthy hair in order for you to get a good outcome.
outcome and in order for you not to have any breakage after. We want to avoid breakage at all costs. No turning back now, right? <laughs> nope. Fresh out the shower from, um, I washed it with the neutralizing shampoo. Whoa. With my uh, tried and true motions lavish wash that I've been using for like forever. And then I conditioned with um, generic. I just feel like hypnotized. It's like a Nexus knockoff. I'll put the name down here, but I conditioned like 15 minutes with that. What I didn't want to happen happened. This is how I wanted my hair to come out this side. And this is really this flat. Is a little bit more processed than I wanted. Which is a bummer, but you know. You can tell one side is super flat. The other side is a bit more voluminous. There's a lot of different stuff going on on both sides of the hair because they weren't processed the same amount of time and they weren't done exactly the same. Doing the same amount of time on both sides is just so important with this process. Over the years, as it grows out, I will, um, you know, just trim it and thicken up or whatever. Like I'm hoping to the type of thickness that, uh, that I want. I know for sure this side I would be. My right side of my hair is longer than my left side. I can't say y'all that I'm mad. Like I can't say that this was a bad decision for me. I can't. The looks are really good. Ooh. So I found this video of her hair fully straightened and I just want to show you guys, you know, what the difference is. But wow, her hair looks super nice. Totally different looks and I get why, you know, she would do it just like the other girls. Great job, girl. Besides the fact that it wasn't that good of a job. Besides the fact that you should have definitely taken better sections and time better. Invested in a properly done relaxer since it was so many years. You know, you went without it. I would just rather see you go to somebody who really knows what they're doing. But I understand people have their, you know, hangups about spending money on hair or they don't have the money for it. I get it. That's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. Ooh. Wow. I loved learning from those women on what to do, what not to do with a relaxer. I definitely know much more now than I did when I started this video. And again, if you're gonna do this to your own hair, do the proper research. It is not just something you throw on your head and you just automatically have straight hair and there's no repercussions for it. I mean, this is a serious, serious treatment. It is not like coloring your hair either. Coloring your hair is better for your hair in some circumstances is better than doing relaxer treatment. Relaxer is pretty much the harshest chemical you can put on your hair. With that all said, make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at BradMondoNYC. Make sure you follow my hair care brand, XMondo Hair. We have so many hair products coming out in the next like couple weeks. We're ready to just throw them up. Just throwing up hair products right now in the most beautiful way possible. And shop XMondo Hair linked below to get fabulous, beautiful, glowing hair. And that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.